Hey everyone, welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. There is so much going on in this country and the world that can wreak havoc on our lives almost instantly. These things we have little to no control over. As much as we want to, we cannot stop those who run the country from causing a conflict that could lead to war. We have very little control over inflation and local crime. Some people still have a little hope in voting the right person into office to change things. But realistically, the best one can do for their family and loved ones is to position themselves as much as possible to be independent of the system. What system? Stores, markets, bank loan departments, pharmaceutical, anything that causes debt. Use these things as necessary, but don't have a dependency on them. I don't post a lot of negative topics on this channel because it doesn't do much to solve the issue. But it is good to know about things in the economy, country, and world that can negatively impact you and your family and loved ones. This Rite Aid store that you see here I'm walking through, it closed a few weeks ago, along with hundreds of other stores such as CVS, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Foot Locker, Express, Best Buy, Macy's, Walgreens, and Walmart, just to name a few. Employees at this Rite Aid were not even aware that the store was closing until they saw men in business suits arrive one day walking around the store. The employees had a few weeks to find new jobs before the store finally closed. It is unfortunate, but this was a good time to take advantage of a bad situation. The store offered its remaining products at a 30 to 50% discount. So this was a good time to add to your medical supplies, uh, vitamins, over-the-counter medicine, sterile bandages, gloves, etc. And not to mention the band-aids for the little ones who can't help but to find ways to scrape themselves up. But you would not be able to take advantage of this and other discounts if you didn't have the extra money or if you were overwhelmed with debt. Again, I know this sounds pretty bad to take advantage of a company that's going out of business, but these companies have been taking advantage of us for many years with their overpriced items. The really sad part of it all are those who will lose their jobs or who have lost their jobs, the poor and the elderly who have to travel further to get their supplies and medicine. Have you ever spent time with an elderly person? They don't like change. They like to go to their same CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, or whatever to get their supplies, to get their medicine. Once they travel outside their neighborhood or their normal routine, they get uncomfortable and lost. Now, this isn't all elderly people, but those in their late 70s to 90s and live alone, this impacts them when their local stores close. Now, those stores that I mentioned closed last month. This month, you have more people losing their jobs due to layoffs. Tesla laying off 500 employees after laying off 6,000 in April. Microsoft laying off over 1,500 this month after laying off 1,900 in January. Silo Food, 30% of its workforce will lose their jobs. Zachary Holdings, which is in the engineering and construction business, is laying off 4,000 employees. Walmart is laying off another 380. Citigroup, 4,500. Southwest Airlines, 2,000. Cisco Systems, 4,000. Nike, 1,600. UPS, 12,000 people losing their jobs. And more will come next month and the month after that. And that's just a small list of the big business names that are laying off people. There have been a large number of layoffs the past couple of years. There's nothing normal about this. 
I have never seen so many people that I know personally lose their jobs, yet the unemployment rate somehow remains the same. Have you ever wondered how the unemployment rate is calculated? It actually makes no sense, but the method they use does keep the numbers looking good. There are many people warning the masses that things are going to get worse, and I believe them. I mean, it might not have been obvious a few years ago, but it should be pretty evident now, right? My solution is stop spending. Be creative with repurposing things. Make or build instead of buying everything. Practice bartering and trading when you can. Visit garage sales to buy things at a discount and have one of your own to get rid of things you don't need while making a little cash on the side. Start a garden. There are plenty of crops you can still plant in June for a mid and late summer harvest. Learn how to can and ferment foods. Don't be naive in thinking you can't lose your job next. Be prepared for that. Keep those you trust close to you, but always put God first. Thanks for watching.